my cut creases look like a four-year-old drawing a dinosaur. I love you so much. I just, oh, oh she's so sparkly. Good morning guys. So happy Vlogmas. Hope you are phenomenal today. So this morning I'm about to do my skincare routine. So I thought I could do a little updated skincare routine. Got my green smoothie. And it does have probiotic yogurt in it. I love probiotics. This is a great segue. This wasn't even planned. So part of my skincare routine that I love is Tula. I love Tula products. So they send me just like stuff all the time, even when we're not sponsored and I use it constantly. It is so, so good. Their products are just like, I don't know, they just really, really work. So they have probiotics in them, which is really cool. And they have like superfoods in them because it's not just about like eating those things, but like putting them in your skincare makes your skin look amazing. So it's no secret, I still struggle with breakouts here and there. So back when I was on Accutane, or before I did Accutane rather, um, I used to have really bad acne. I tried everything over the counter, um, and I wish I had known about this because it probably would have helped tremendously. Because now whenever I'm having like a breakout, like I still struggle sometimes, like I have this little set right here. I like to use the Tula Goodbye Breakouts system. I have had this little guy in my bathroom for like the last few months. It's the Go Away Acne Spot Treatment and this works super, super well. So anytime I get a breakout, I use that, but I'm gonna show you guys the system that I use now when I'm like really trying to kick it. So Tula is cruelty free, they never test on animals, and everything is clean and effective. So of course we're gonna start with washing our face. So I'm gonna use this fabulous foaming face wash. I've had this up in my bathroom as well for probably the last month or two. This is the Keep It Clear Foaming Acne Cleanser. So this stuff is really, really great. It has like strong acne clearing power. Like it has the highest amount of uh, salicylic acid you can get without a prescription and it smells like kind of eucalyptus-y you know when you can just feel a product really getting into your skin i love this and i love foam and you guys know i struggle with like dark marks and acne scars so it has azelaic acid in it and that helps to fade those as well so i love that i can kick new acne while i work on old acne problems so it works on current breakouts it prevents future ones and it doesn't like dry out my skin because that's like, you know, not a good feeling. It just feels like clean, soft, not like tight and unpleasant like a lot of acne face washes do. Another reason I love that. It's hard to find a good face wash that doesn't like dry you out. So next I'm gonna follow up with the Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Correcting Gel. And it's just a clear gel. And I just put that all over, just a thin layer. There's no like alcohol or harsh ingredients in these products, so you won't have to worry about, like I said, that dry feeling. Um, and the probiotics in these are meant to like soothe and calm the skin because you guys know I struggle with some redness. My skin is very, very sensitive, so to be able to find a line of products that can actually like soothe the skin while working on my problems is just like absolutely crucial. So you may be wondering, like like I said, I don't always struggle with breakouts anymore. This system and these products work for people who just have an occasional breakout or struggle with acne on the reg. So next, because my skin is totally clean, you can go ahead and put the product right on the acne. Only do that if your skin is clean. Or you can just take a little bit on your finger and pop it on, but this stuff is magic. After I use this for like a day or two, the pimple's usually totally gone. 24 hours after using the go away spot treatment, 73% of people saw that their pimple, pimple went away. And after seven days of using the go away spot treatment, 90% of people saw their pimples totally go away. So it has been proven to work. So that is my updated skincare routine whenever I'm struggling with breakouts. Um, I also like to use, to use it on the regular, so if I am about to get a breakout, I can fight it. I especially struggle with like hormonal during like the menstrual time situation and that always helps 
so much. I love this line. So you can just like add this in your shower. Maybe you have like acne on your chest or your back or somewhere else. You can use it there too. And I like that you can use this under or over makeup. Like that is a fun fact. Keep it in your purse. You feel a little, you know, you can feel a pimple coming on. <laughs> like throughout the day, you're like, oh, I feel it coming. Pop this bad boy on, little dab, dab, dab. I definitely recommend this set and love Tula products. I've tried them a million times. They're so good. Like I back them 100%. So you guys can go down to the description box and you guys can check out Tula's Goodbye Breakouts Acne Routine Kit and redeem 15% off on Tula.com using my code Alexandra Irene. And that's Alexandra A. Irene, like my Twitter name. <laughs> Promo. <laughs> but it's on the screen here, Alexandra A. Irene. It's also going to be down below in the description box. It's definitely worth grabbing with that coupon code. Thank you so much to Tula for sponsoring this portion of today's Vlogmas. I know you guys won't be disappointed in these products. They work so well. Now that I have another one of these, I can put it in my shower because the other one is outside of my shower. So, and now I have a backup one of these for my purse because I have the other one in my bathroom. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go get ready. We'll start our day. So today I thought maybe we could do a little New Year's Eve makeup. So when you guys are watching this on New Year's Eve morning, maybe it will inspire you for a little glam moment that you're gonna have tonight. My hair is wet. I love this shirt, but like it doesn't translate on camera. It's got like, it's like sheer black with like a bunch of velvet stars. I'll link it for you guys. I think it's from ASOS, but I love the way it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and do a New Year's Luke. And this is just going to be like chit chat get ready with me. It's basically me practicing my makeup for tomorrow night. So I'm starting off with the Pores No More primer from Dr. Brandt. This stuff is so good if you have oily skin or big pores and it leaves you nice and matte and smooth. Mm, feels so good. And it smells minty. I've been absolutely obsessed with the Stay Naked foundation from Urban Decay. Just like, it's so good. I'm in the shade 30NN. I wear it like every single day. I love this stuff. I feel like it wears really well. It's buildable. It looks like skin. It actually dries down. So, I don't know. I'm someone who likes to start with her foundation. I know a lot of people like to do their eyes first, especially when it's like a more intense look. But that's just not me. So, let me know down in the comments, what are you guys' plans for New Year's? Do you do anything? I know some people think it's kind of like overhyped and don't bother to do anything. But I like to do something. I'm like a big fan of like a fresh start, a fresh chapter. And I kind of use that New Year's vibe as a time to start fresh, set new goals. I don't know. It's just fun for me to do that. Let me know your New Year's goals down below. So mine, if you're wondering, I really want to learn Spanish. <laughs> I just want to know a second language. I've always been really fascinated with language back when I was younger. I remember I, my, my mom and I used to go to the library and like I'd literally pick up language books. I tried to learn like a Chinese language once. I've tried to learn I think Italian like I don't know. <laughs> Not that I've ever completed it. I also really wanted to learn French too. Oh my god. But like I, I want to like I need to <laughs> I need to really try here. So I'm just priming my eyelids now with MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And I'm actually priming my bottom lash line as well. But Yarmin speaks Spanish and I'd really love to learn the language. I know some of it. I can follow some of him speaking. I can talk a little bit because I did take Spanish back in high school. But like, I don't really know Spanish. So I downloaded an app called Duolingo. And I'm paying for like the premium version and I really like it so far. But I'm going to really try to dedicate myself to that in 2020. I'm using also the Stay Naked Concealer from Urban. I also would really love to read more in 2020. Like, I got a book for Christmas, but I have a lot of books that I wanna read. I just wanna like get back into reading. I go through phases where I absolutely love to read, and then I just kind of fall out of the habit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Laura Mercier setting powder. Ultimately, like, because New Year's resolutions, I don't really do those. I do like New Year's goals. I'd like to read 
like one book a month and I know that's not even that much like come on I can do that I'm also so sniffly so like this makeup's gonna last like five minutes <laughs> today I'm just like getting some stuff done around the house and relaxing a bit since we're going out tomorrow night for New Year's so yeah I'm gonna just try to rest besides this but you guys were asking if I was gonna do any New Year's makeup look you know I post these early in the morning hopefully someone will get a look out of this for their night some inspo today it is absolutely gross outside it is like slushy and cold and it's like hailing it's not snowing it's not raining it's just like that nasty mix oh my gosh so i love this this is the urban decay stay naked the fix powder this whole stay naked line is absolutely fire all right let me see what are my other new year's goals i wanted to write these all down i just haven't had time yet well i've had time i just haven't really thought about doing it but i'll do it after this so i really want to do a new workout class this year i want to try several workout classes this year and i think i'm going to take you guys along for the fearless series i'd also like to be more consistent with the fearless series but um you know i feel like when it comes it comes and like when I have something fearless to do, I'll always show you guys and it will always be a part of that series. I'm having a bad brow day, y'all. Bad brow day. Bad, bad brow day. Wow, I really can't remember what I was talking about. Cold brain is real. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I genuinely don't remember. Oh my God, that's actually sad. Anyway, oh, okay. I was talking about the fearless series and doing more workout classes, yeah. So I want to try, I kind of want to try Orange Theory. I feel like I've heard good things about it. Like I feel like a lot of people love it. Will I love it? I don't know, but I won't know unless I try. Like I've heard that there's a lot of different kinds of people in the class, like people who are more advanced, people who are more beginner. And like, I don't want to feel intimidated in that space. So I have heard though, this is kind of crazy. I've heard in my area that one of them is like, everyone's really mean there. And I'm like, I've heard that from like a couple people. So I'm kind of like, mm, should we go or should we go to a different one? Is it true? All right, wiping away my baking, powdering my face with this. Love this stuff. On a quick, easy day, I'll throw on a little Laura Mercier trans not translucent Laura Mercier um tinted moisturizer with this for a quick coverage and it's ooh so good let's grab our Kat Von D shade and light palette first I'm gonna take some of that banana powder with my sponge and I'm just gonna like pop that under the eyes let it sit for a minute I just want to look super baked and contoured oh yes so now I'm gonna go in with the middle shade here and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour and bronze the skin you guys will have to let me know what are your favorite workout classes especially if you're in mass like is there anywhere I should try I'm just looking for more interesting ways to work out in 2020 like I want to try a spin class I've been talking about that for a while now I don't know why I'm just like really scared to go I should go though like push myself out of my comfort zone. It's just like, it seems so advanced to me. Like, I don't know. I feel like you need to be in really good shape to do it. Like maybe I could work my way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my contour. To give me a chiseled look. I'm also gonna just blend out my under eye. And then I think we need a little blush. I've been using the Tarte Risqué blush for months now, and I love it. It's pretty neutral, but it does give you like a little rosy look. Of course, it's me, so our look is gonna be very neutral, like super smoky glam, but like neutral. Ooh, contoured. A little nose contour too, cause you know, it's me. Hello, it's me. So, um, I also like to set goals with, like, work and stuff, and unfortunately, I didn't hit my goal of hitting 400,000 subscribers, but you know what? I love y'all so much. The ones of you who are here, I love you so much. I just, 
Oh, the number doesn't even count because I love y'all. Like, oh, I don't know why I'm like full Southern right now, but I just really love you guys. And I felt really, really close to you guys this year. Like, I always feel close to you, but this year I felt like extra close to you. And I just feel so, so grateful. And you guys, this year, whoo, y'all, this year, y'all again, who am I, was so transformative and so powerful. And you guys being there with me through that was absolutely nuts. I was heartbroken at the beginning of the year. I found love in the middle of the year. I bought a house. <laughs> like this year was, oh, just wait till y'all see tomorrow's video. Make me cry just thinking about it. Glow, I'm gonna put on like 14 highlighters because it's New Year's. You thought I was kidding, I'm not. It's time to go in for the kill. We're putting on Flexitarian, baby. You know what that means. We're about to shine to the gods. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Who is she fighting? My goodness, as I sniffle. I can't get my nose to stop sniffling. Ugh. It sounds worse than I feel though. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> sorry, aggressive. Oh my goodness gracious me, oh my. I feel beamy. Oh God, I haven't done my skin up like this in a while. Okay, feeling cute, feeling good. Let's throw on some Morphe spray. feel snatched even with my hair like I don't feel good when my hair isn't done but I feel good right now I'm not sure those are my goals so far things I want to do I just like really want to be in like amazing health in 2020 with mentally physically I really want to get super super healthy I've just been trying to eat better and just like take care of myself I feel like I'm in a really good place huh, with life so why not like just really take care of myself like I feel like God has done his part now it's my turn to do my part <sighs> super excited for all that's in store for this next year like we're entering a new decade y'all this is crazy look at these gloss bombs from Fenty I want to use one of them to I don't even know which one I'm gonna use I don't know so going with this look of my little star shirt I'm gonna use the mercury retrograde palette it's one of my favorite stunning palettes I'm obsessed with it and it has a ton of different shimmers it has a very like a new year's vibe so let's go ahead and start off with karma this neutral kind of taupey color let's just throw that in the crease shall we I'll take a little bit of crash too they're just like two neutral um taupey shades so for New Year's, Yara and I are going to um, this like dinner party we bought tickets for in Providence, which will be super fun. So I know a lot of you guys, including myself, are very attached to Vlogmas right now. Trust me, I am too. Even though I haven't been feeling well, it just, I love checking in with you guys every day and like, I feel so close to you, <laughs> like especially right now. And I'm gonna miss seeing you every single day so much. But it definitely has taken a bit of a toll, even though I'm in love with you guys. <laughs> but I think going back to weekly vlogs will be a hard transition, but we will be okay. And I'm not going to, like, make you wait a week after because Vlogmas ends on, what, like a, uh, on a Wednesday. So I'm not going to make you wait, like, a whole week. I'm going to post a weekly vlog on Sunday. I'm going to take Thursday off, though, because my posting schedule is normally Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. <laughs> so I post random videos on Tuesday and Thursday, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. And then on Sunday, I post my week life, my life in a week. <laughs> so on Sunday, you guys can get back into the vlog routine. So I'm going to take this shade here called Galaxy. It's stunning. It's like a champagne -y, silver, gold. Oh, it's so Pretty. I love this palette. This is just another one of those makeup tutorials. That's that classic New Year's look. We all out here wearing the same look. Now I'm gonna take Vortex, which is kind of like a dark, dark purple black. And I'm gonna just buff that into my outer corner. Smoke it out, honey. And then on top of that, I'll take the shades we used in our crease first. Kind of go over it help to work it in the crease. It will really help to blend it. 
I also like to set travel goals for the year as well. I don't know, honestly, I don't know where we're going to go, as in Yara and I, <laughs> or me and my mom, who knows, or me and friends, I don't know. Um, of course, I'm going to take you guys along. Yara and I do have a couple things planned that we can't tell you about. Um, <laughs> let's take some of this purple shade, too. <laughs> Why not? Our top is black, the night is young, our eyes are kind of green. Let's just add some purple. This is hot mess, the shade. <laughs> Quite literally as well. Ooh, I never know where I'm going with these tutorials. Like, I never know. Like, it's actually funny that I'm a YouTuber. I'm like, I'm not, I can't do a cut crease. Like, I've learned, uh, I know. <laughs> I can't do a cut crease. I have tried and I have tried and I have tried. My cut creases look like a four-year-old drawing a dinosaur. It's not for me. Ooh, more glitter, more glitter. <laughs> I'm like, delirious. <laughs> I have been wild and so hard with cold brain. Oh, she's so sparkly. Ooh. Let's go ahead and smoke out our underneath. Just that neutral shade. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you already know my obsession with TikTok is real. I didn't understand it for a long time. Going to Joycey apparently. But now I love it. And I can't stop watching. I have an account as well if y'all want to follow me on TikTok. My username is learning to be fearless. I post some funny videos with Yar on there. But I freaking love it. Like all I do, especially being sick, all I do is scroll through the For You page. And I'm obsessed. I have renegade stuck in my head. Kind of want to learn a dance. <laughs> I might later if I have some weird burst of energy. I'm feeling spicy. Should No, no, I'm not going to do that. My eyes are watery. I was going to add a wing, but you know what? No. <laughs> no! Because, like, my eyes are watery when I'm sick. It's going to... No. It's going to be a mess. No. But I got these really pretty lashes today at CVS. They are Naked Drama Me in 2019. <laughs> Lash Couture from Kiss. They're called Chiffon. They are beautiful. So let me just throw these on real quick. Okay, I'm back. Lashes are on. I love the way these look. These are so pretty. And this mascara is so good. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big. Oh my goodness. It is so good. The lashes are still kind of drying. But I want to go ahead and take the Flexitarian highlight. And I want to put that in my inner corner to just be like super beaming. Whenever I have like a strong inner corner highlight on like insta it's always this like it's always this it's always glowing perfect so now for our lip i'm gonna throw on the spice lip liner from mac and then we'll do one of those glosses so i can't decide if i want to do this one here which looks kind of like holographic -y. like it looks like oh god it's clear but it has like a bit of that purple sheen. Ooh. I don't know if that purple sheen translates on camera. Let's go for the darker one. This one is so pretty. This one's called Hot Chocolate. And it's this really pretty like sparkly brown with gold. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Oh, so many colors. So yeah, that is how this look came out fun and fresh and i'm gonna go blow dry my hair two hours late yo i ooh, no 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 i have spent the last hour and a half trying to learn the renegade dance on tiktok it's so hard it's so hard so i have been trying i'm actually like perspiring i don't know if you can see my perspiration but i did end up posting my best version on my TikTok. If you guys want to see how it came out, my TikTok is learning to be fearless. You're going to have to go look because I have been putting in work. I'm going to just stick to posting funny moments with me and Yarmin on there. I'm not a, I'm not a TikTok dancer, but it was fun to, to try. 
I'm frustrated. Go watch it. All right. So uh, quickly again, I just want to say thank you so much to Tula for sponsoring the beginning of today's episode of Vlogmas. You guys can grab their Goodbye Breakouts Acne Routine Kit with the link down below, Tula.com, and get 15% off with my code Alexandra A. Irene. Thank you again to them for sponsoring. Love y'all so much. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Um, it's a very special video tomorrow that I've been working on for a few weeks. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. And um, Happy New Year. I love you.